Hello people, Jen and Police Mata here. So, you've probably heard about this and that's why you're watching this video. People who downloaded the Pokemon Sun and Moon leaked uh, game and installed it to their custom firmware 3DS got banned if they use the online services. Well, the bottom line should be if the game hasn't been released yet, don't play online. However, I did, even if it wasn't on purpose, but yes, I did get banned. If you didn't get banned, don't go online on Pokemon Sun and Moon before the release. And make sure you re-download the game, because the CIA might, might not be good, uh, due to its uh, version being 0.0.0. So back up your save and get the CIA uh, once it, the game releases. So, anyway, I have a way that I found on GBA Temp, thanks to who may who invented it, because I can't remember the username exactly, I'll link it below. So, if you want to unban yourself, you will need a second 3DS or a 2DS. It doesn't matter if it is new, old, if your banned 3DS is new or old, it seems to work either way. So, the other 3DS slash 2DS will need to have custom firmware. Uh, first of all, you have to get the Crypt9. You can find it in the description. If you have custom firmware, I'm assuming you know how to use it. Uh, and that's about it. You need the Crypt9 on both the Origin 3DS, which is the or 2DS, I guess, the console that is not banned, and you need the the Crypt9 on the Target 3DS, the one that did get the ban. So, without further further ado, let's continue to the next step, which is actually the first step. If I think about it, I didn't actually start it. So let's start this process. So first of all, you want to boot the Crypt 9 uh, on the unbanned 3DS. So start it up. In my case, I'm using Corbinix chain loading feature. You can use Lumas or whatever you use. Just boot up the Crypt 9. Once you've booted, select Sysnand options, because I'm assuming you're using Sysnand. Most time, nine loader, pe uh, nine loader hacks people use it. Select System File Dump, and you'll want to dump the following files. Secure Info A and Local Friend Code Seed B. So just press A, press A again, press B, go down, select the other file, and do it again. It is as simple as that. Once you've done that, you will want to actually grab a PC and connect your SD card to it. So, what you want to do is go over to the working directory of the Crypt9, which should be Files9 in your SD card of your non-banned 3DS, and copy the files over to the SD card of your banned 3DS to the working directory of the Crypt9 there. If you used an NID before, you will also want to copy uh, NNID save.bin, which is a blank NNID save to remove the NNID from your banned 3DS. So now, on the banned 3DS, you want to boot the Crypt9. So, keep in mind, you shouldn't do an end backup before doing any of, the, any of this, even if you do backup. So first of all, you'll want to dump the very same files, and name it something else, like uh, by pressing the arrow keys. So I'm going to name it Secure Info A Sys, and uh, that will be my backup in case I mess up. Same with Local Friend Code Seed. Just name it something else, and go back. Now you'll want to inject the files from the other 3DS. Uh, inject Secure Info A, and select the file. First you have to enter the key combination to unlock uh, writing to Sysnam. And after you do, because I got it wrong the first time, you're going to select the file which should be Secure Info A. Press B and do the very same thing for local friend code seed B. 
press the key combination again, select local friend code seed, and you should be done. All right, now if you did have a, an NID before, you will want to go to system, save, inject. And first of all, you should dump your NID save just in case. Uh, dump it to, I'm going to name it again, NID save sys.bin and system save inject. All you have to do is inject the NID save. Now, I didn't have an NID, so I didn't inject it, but if you did have an NID, it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to boot my 3DS and see if I can actually log in to my friends list. If I can, that means I've been successfully unbanned, I've unbanned myself from online play. Keep in mind that some people report this doesn't fix eShop bans, but well at least you can play online and if you have custom firmware, I guess <laughs> piracy. Uh, stop. I don't think the eShop ban was a smart idea, I mean, they're stopping you from buying more stuff, they could have made it an online ban so you couldn't play, but you could stay still buy their game, so as you see, I am online. I've successfully gone online, on the console that was previously banned. So thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more. See ya!